everyone welcome back to my channel and if you've been following me for a while or even if you have not um, I did a video about goals and how to achieve your goals and how to pursue your goals and today's video is going to be about some of my New Year's resolution goals and hopefully you'll find some inspiration from this or enjoy this but before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you enjoy my video after watching it today, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you love videos about goal setting and planning, give me a thumbs up. Comment below also, what are your goals and what are your New Year's resolutions for 2017? Please let me know in the comments below. I love to get some feedback from you, what you're doing, and then maybe we can have some type of like community here and support each other and whatnot to be able to achieve and make those goals happen. And then remember to like and share this video if you enjoy it or if you think someone else will enjoy it. So first and foremost, I've been thinking a lot this past week, week, well, two weeks now, about my goals and what I want to achieve and make happen in 2017. Um, as many of you know, I am a mother, I'm a studio owner, I am a daughter of God, and I'm a wife, and a friend, and all of the above. And I think the biggest thing this year I'm really going to focus on is making time for myself. I have no problem making time for my studio kids, for my children and my husband, um, and for God. I feel like that I give as much as I can, I mean, at this point in my life to my church and to God and to my children and husband and family and friends as much as my life will allow me. But I think this past, like, well, last month I was extremely ill and I just realized that I don't have enough downtime to be able to take care of myself. So I really want to make sure when I'm planning my goals for 2017 and achieving those goals that I have time for self-care and for self-awareness and finding what's the most important thing that needs to happen or take place today. So the first area we're going to talk about is my financial goals. I'm sure many of you have made financial goals and things you want to achieve. And like always, I have a few things jotted down. Is Obviously, I want to pay down as much debt as possible and save more. And with that, I will have to be very clear on my budget. I've always had a budget um, in tail, but I think I really, really, really want to focus and sit down and focus that and look at that, review that every single month. I say I'm gonna do it, it's usually every quarterly or every half a year, but and for the most part, our, we stay within budget out of the 12 months out of the year, but I really want to focus on that and saying, you know what, hey, we really don't need that. We, we really don't want, we don't, that's just a want and we don't really need it. Um, making sure I'm clear on that and buying and purchasing the things that our family really does need and really want. So it's kind of like that minimum, minimal lifestyle, keeping it simple, streamlining everything, cutting out as much clutter in the house. I've gotten rid of so much stuff that I realized that, hey, look, we're spending our money on a lot of things that we don't even need that will make maybe paying down debt a little bit quicker. So that comes into play with spending less. I want to cut everywhere I possibly can as far as like groceries, utilities, things that we don't need or and they're just wants. And being able to free up that money to be able to save for retirement, for education for my children, and for maybe some fun things like experiences. So the next thing I want to touch on is some personal goals. I just told you in the beginning of this video is taking time out for myself and I want to be able to not only take time out for myself but to be able to take more pictures and especially movies of my children. I've done a couple of day in the life videos here on my channel with my children as not just for you guys, I mean hopefully you guys enjoy those videos, but also for my children to kind of document their life. Um, I want to be able to do more of those day in the life videos. So if you enjoy or want me to do more of those let me know too in the comments below I want to be able to write letters more like old-fashioned writing letters like letters of encouragement inspiration to friends to students to family members and things of that nature 
I also want to be able to keep up with my calendar. I'm pretty good about using my calendar on a day-to-day -day basis, weekly and monthly, but I want to make sure that I'm very on the off times of the year when I'm not working to be able to use that to utilize and plan um, things that are not only taking care of myself, but taking care of my family and friends. So I want to be able to use that because I use mostly my planner for work purposes and things of that nature, but I want to make sure I really focus and plan on that. And that kind of goes in line with my last and final goal, my personal life, making time for amazing friends and family in my life. And that doesn't necessarily have to be um, spending any money. That could be going to visit a friend or visit their new home, their new baby, their new pet. Um, being able to pick up the phone and chat with them back and forth, inviting people over for dinner or for barbecues. I'd like to do more of that in 2017. So on to health and fitness. I feel like I'm a pretty healthy, fit person, but I always think that there's improvement. I want to be able to incorporate yoga more into my life. I used to go on a regular basis to a yoga class and I kind of done away with that because work took over. So now I'm trying to cut out some things that aren't serving me anymore to be able to squeeze more yoga into my life. I want to be able to drink more water and cut out as much sugar, processed food, and caffeine in, as possible in my diet. So that's gonna be a struggle because if you've been following me and you've been watching my um, What I Eat in a Day video, you know I drink coffee and I do have some sugary things in my day, What I Eat in a Day. So I would like to cut more of that out and having more plant-based things and less processed things in my diet. I want to be able to post more for you guys, more vegetarian meals, more hearty vegetarian meals, preparing those um, for you. So yay on that. Um, I want to, here's another one. I want to be able to get at least seven hours of sleep a night, no matter what. I have, la this is my biggest struggle in life because I usually will go and do really well and get seven, eight hours of sleep, and then one night I'll get 10, and then some nights I'll get two to three. So this is going to be a huge focus. So for me, I've decided that I need to start winding down an hour before I'm supposed to go to bed because if I start winding down about 20 minutes before bedtime, there's no way in heck I'm gonna get those seven solid hours of sleep. So I literally have to start winding down an hour before bed and maintaining a very strong, clear bedtime routine. The next thing is I wanna obviously be able to sl smile and laugh more with my children and my family and friends and then hug and encourage more and that kinda goes in with the letters and the phone calls and the visits. I want to be able to floss more. That has been a struggle for me too as well. I'm pretty good on my oral hygiene and I say it's pretty good, but flossing is something that I'll get really strong on, do it about four to five days a week, and then I give up day six and seven and so forth. So I really wanna make sure I'm doing that. Also, I would like to get in more walks or runs. I don't really wanna, per se, like run a marathon or anything like that, but I would like to be able to get jogs in and more like brisk walking into my exercise regime. So mommy goals, I always think that us mothers, we always have to have mommy goals, or at least I do. Um, I wanna be able to spend more time with my children and husband either, and this doesn't have to cost any money too, and that's really what I'm gonna be focusing on. Reading, going to the library, going to parks, listening to music, talking, chatting, and playing games. Those are all things that are very affordable, A, free, and fun to do. Um, I want to be able to live with that less, have our family be able to learn to live with less and find um, gratitude, find peace, and find joy in that. I want to be able to declutter more and maintain more of a streamlined, minimal, simple home. So incorporating more neutral things into my home colors and neutral items into my house and natural items into my home. So keeping things a lot more calm by that. I want to be able to, this is a big one this year, teach my children how to write thank yous this year. Also, I want to be able to teach my children how to do more self-help things such as 
putting their laundry away, making their beds, preparing simple meals. So those are gonna be things that my children need to do. They're 10 and 13, and I think it's about time that I don't do everything for them. I'm actually not doing them well by doing that, doing everything for them, and I've came to that realization. I want to be able to explore more with my family and friends and my children especially. Things such as parks and um, national parks, state parks, county parks and things like that. Get into nature a little bit more and I want to be able to experience more with them. Things that incorporate nature and what God has put on this earth. So going into my business goals and this kind of ties into my blog and my vlogs as well too. I obviously want to grow this YouTube channel, so hopefully you guys can help me if you find this video. Um, I want to be able to post more frequently on my blog at least five to seven days a week. And then I also want to be able to post on this channel at least twice a week, which is going to be a struggle because I'll go with weeks on not posting and then I'll post two videos a week and then sometimes one. So I want to find a more consistent schedule for you all. I want to be able to post on social media for you all at least five days a week. And this is for my business and for the blog slash and my YouTube channel. And then I want to become certified in ballet through Dance Masters. This is something that I've been wanting to do. I have all of the resources provided in front of me. I just a matter of me studying for it, for it and going out there and achieving it. I want to also do an ebook this year, so hopefully I'll keep you posted on that and you'll find out more about that. Um, the ebook is going to be something that I've been working on for quite some time, but I really just want to hone in on it and bring it into one concrete thing. And last but not least is my spiritual goals. I want to be able to, for sure, every morning, look at a daily devotional, read the Bible, reflect on it, and journal about that. I, I get, I am good at that most of the week, and then somehow I kind of disregard it and remember it right before bedtime and things of that nature. And I'm fine with doing that all before bed or throughout the day, but I really want to make sure before I start my day I do that. Um, so yeah, I really want to make sure I do that this year for spiritual. So those are all of my goals this year for 2017. Hopefully I can achieve it. Um, I will check back at, with them um, frequently and let you know how I'm doing either on my YouTube channel or my blog. Um, my blog is linked below, so make sure you click on that and follow me over there as well because I do post a little bit more frequently over there. Um, if you have goals and resolutions, I would love to hear them below. So please write them down and let's talk about them and let's hopefully we can achieve these things together. And until next time, I'll see you guys real soon.